My name is Olivia. I live in Michigan. I post a lot of videos kind of trying to be like the big sister. So it's just me navigating my 20s. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I would love it so much if you did that um, and joined our little space on the internet. Um, if you have already subscribed to this channel and you are returning, thank you so much. It means so much. Any view, any comment, any anything just means so much to me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are not, and comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Today I'm going to be talking about my first month off of birth control, completely detoxing it out of my system, not switching to another birth control, not any of that, just off of birth control. The reason that I was on birth control, that's kind of where I want to start. Um, everybody's reason for being on birth control is personal to them. For me personally, I was on birth control because I have something called endometriosis. It's where um, lining similar to the uterine lining grows in other areas of your body um, and it actually sheds and bleeds like your uterine lining does as well. It is not the same lining, however, not the same tissue. So, I was on birth control because normally when you um, have your periods, it kind of causes those areas to flare up. It can also, when you're not on birth control, it can kind of speed up the growth of more endometriosis within your body. Um, and it overall just puts you in a whole world of pain and inflammation and all that fun stuff. So I got on birth control kind of just to manage my pain. It's not a cure for endometriosis at all. I got on it to manage my pain um, and just kind of have a little bit of a life for a while. Um, and don't get me wrong, there were really great things to birth control. It was so convenient to not have a period. It was um, so nice to not be in pain all of the time. It was so nice to not have to plan my month around uh, what was going on in my cycle because I was in a lot of pain around ovulation, I was in a lot of pain the week before my period, and I was in the most pain on my period. So essentially three weeks out of the month I was not in a good place. Um, so that is why I was on it. I first got on it when I was 18 and endometriosis had started to be discussed or taken, I would say taken a little more seriously. It I had mentioned period pain um, and we had talked about birth control and then nothing really ever came about it and then finally I was like you know what this pain that I'm feeling is not normal endometriosis was brought up a lot more and so I started bringing it up to my doctors um and so yeah I was on birth control from the time I was 18 until how old I am now from 18 until 22 so three years some just kidding that's not the right math so four years throughout being on birth control, I was noticing a lot of changes to my body that I just really didn't like. Um, and this is different for everyone. Someone doesn't do, some people don't deal with these at all. There were pros and there were cons, the no pain, my acne was like, my skin was completely perfect, clear, like it was wonderful. I would have maybe little breakouts here and there, but n I've never been someone that really struggles with acne like a ton ever. Um, but it just had completely changed, like, nothing. No hormonal acne, no nothing. I was enjoying that part of it, but there were things that I, w I also ended up noticing. Um, lots of weight gain, lots of inflammation, and, I mean, I already dealt with inflammation because endometriosis causes a lot of inflammation. Um, but there are even pictures that I have when I was on a specific birth control where I weigh more than I do than I did in those pictures currently I weigh more than I did in those pictures and my face is like completely rounded out I was noticing a ton of weight gain things were just happening very rapidly my body was changing at a very crazy rate I was also no noticing changes to my hair like it just wasn't looking very healthy and I felt like it was thinning a little bit more and breaking a little bit more um, I was also having some like rashes on my skin that I had dealt with and this is through multiple birth controls. Um, all of that was happening and then 
I would say probably about halfway in, so like two years in, I started having flare-ups again. I started bleeding fairly frequently, um, and uh, it was extremely painful. But I was just noticing all these things happening to my body, and then I was still bleeding, and um, eventually I just got to the point where I told my doctor, I was like, we gotta do something. Because the reason I'm on birth control is to stop all of this like all of these endo symptoms all of this endo pain um and i am currently dealing with it and um so that's when we ended up doing my first endo surgery and after that i was like kind of okay and then it started happening again and then i did my second endo surgery which was a little over a year ago and everything was okay for a little bit and then all of a sudden i was flaring up again and the pain was still terrible. Um, it just did not feel worth it to be on my birth control anymore. And it was something I had debated for a while because um, there are so many chemicals running through your body when you're on birth control. And um, that was kind of getting to my head a little bit. And it was also the, I was having other medical issues. And I wanted to make sure that my uh, birth control wasn't contributing to that or maybe causing some of those symptoms. Um, so I got off of it for that reason. And the other reason I got off of it is because I just wanted my mind and my body to be connected. As weird as this may sound, I wanted to feel all of that again. Like, I wanted to, to know that my body was going through its cycle on its own the way that it was meant to. So that's what I did. I got off of my birth control while talking to my doctor about it because I had tried so many different ones and I was just like I can't do this anymore like I don't enjoy this first month for me personally was pretty uneventful that's why I'd like to also do a six month update um because there's definitely more that has happened within I'm not at the six month mark but there's definitely more that's happened within that time so um these are some things that I noticed. I also got off of my birth control mid flare up. So my cramping and bleeding was already happening the second that I, it was already happening the second that I got off of birth control. The first thing that I noticed was my bloating was down. I don't know if you've ever heard of the term of um, endo belly, but I, even through birth control, was dealing with a lot of what I would describe as like endo belly. Like, my i was so bloated there were times where it felt like my stomach was going to explode it was extremely uncomfortable it was it would get to the point where it was painful and within that first month i actually noticed that that endo belly or that bloating was down significantly which was just crazy like it almost made me feel i don't know it immediately made me feel better about myself because i just felt like i was fitting into things better i wasn't as concerned about what i was wearing um, because it, it's not even just about how it looks, but being comfortable. Like, I just wanted to feel comfortable. And when your stomach is out three inches further than what it, what it is when you're not bloated, like, that can make your clothing really uncomfortable. So, I noticed that. The next thing I noticed was I actually was having a lot less GI upset. Um, I have IBS and I've also had endometriosis kind of near that area. So that can kind of cause IBS like symptoms as well. Um, but I was actually noticing much less issues right when I got off. Uh, I shouldn't say right when I got off. Within that month of getting off, I just felt like I wasn't, <clears throat> it almost wasn't like as painful. Uh, I felt like yeah, I just didn't, I didn't feel as like irritated in that area, I would say. I kind of knew more so like what to expect. The next thing I noticed, and these are kind of going to go back and forth between like good symptoms, bad symptoms, because it kind of just is what it is. I wasn't going to get back on it regardless. Um, I was really, really, really struggling to sleep. Like I it felt like if you have caffeine late in the afternoon and then you can't sleep through the night, that's what I would feel like. Like I would be up until three or four in the morning. And even if I would fall asleep, I like could not stay asleep. I would wake up a million times within the night. I don't even know what the reasoning behind that is. I don't know if that's a just me thing. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but that was definitely something that I dealt with. 
the next thing I struggled with, I'm a migraine sufferer for sure, like been diagnosed, not a fun time, headaches, migraines all the time, but I felt like I was having more of like, not necessarily a migraine, but like kind of just dull headaches, like just there, lingering where I could feel them. It wasn't something that was completely um, like infringing upon my daily life, but it was something where I was noticing it and it was kind of just bugging me because it was there. Um, I don't know if that's because your hormones are immediately changing, so it's just like your brain is like, whoa, I don't know what to do, and it stresses your body out and you get a headache. I have no idea. I don't know what it was, but it did not feel good. It was just kind of more obnoxious than anything. So, I did deal with lots of headaches. I can say that that was more of like a first month thing. This is coming from like four or five month Olivia, honestly. Sorry. The next thing I noticed, this is when, and it was like almost immediately, um, I had, I, I started to get like the slightest increase in acne. Um, and it was definitely right around my, it was here for sure. Like, I'm pretty sure that's your hormonal acne area, like my chin in the corners of my mouth. Um, that was huge. So I wasn't getting that many little pimples or anything like that, but I definitely was getting some and I just felt like I was getting more, even like blackheads in that area. Um, just everything. Like, I just noticed it. It looked a little more irritated in that area, a little more red. Um, and that is something that I've heard a lot with getting off of birth control is you do get some acne. Whether it completely goes away or it doesn't, like, you're, you just kind of purge all of that. I sadly was not someone that could avoid that and I was starting to get some acne during that point. Here's another one. <laughs> this was probably the most difficult, honestly so many mood swings. It was like PMSing all of the time. My emotions were crazy. I was crying and if I was crying I was sobbing. If I was angry I was extremely like raging. If I was anxious I was having an anxiety or I was having like a panic attack or an anxiety attack. It was if I was happy I was bouncing off the walls. Like it wasn't little tiny, oh, I feel happy, that's great. Oh, I feel sad, that's not good, that's not great. Like, it was just here, 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 here. Those are my emotions. Um, yeah, so that was definitely a hard one, and I feel like that put a strain on, like, people around me as well. That was one where I feel like people could notice that more, and by people, I mostly mean my boyfriend, because he was watching it every day and he's around me the most so i feel like he was getting the brunt of it sadly so yeah that was a huge one for me is just my emotions were everywhere and i would say i was like more frequently emotional i'm not a calm person by any means i would like to be and i have my moments but it almost felt like I was feeling feelings more frequently. And I don't know if that makes sense, but that's like the only way I can really describe it. Another thing that I dealt with was actually less cramping. Because I'd come off of that flare up, um, and actually while I was on birth control, I was dealing with cramping pretty much daily towards the end, like the last six months, I would say. I was pretty much having cramps every single day. And once I got off of birth control, I actually wasn't dealing with cramps at all. It got me really excited because uh, my doctor was like, because you have PCOS as well, it could take you three months to get your period back. It could take you six months, which part of that is nerve wracking. But at the same time, I was like, oh man, could I be cramp free and have no period for three to six months? Like, that kind of sounds wonderful. So, obviously I'm not going to get into any details about what happened past the first month. But, first month, I feel like it's kind of uneventful. The only thing that was really hard for me to cope with was the mood swings and my emotions. Um, but other than that, I felt like everything that was happening to me physically wasn't terrible. I 
and there's also things that I probably should have written down that I don't quite remember. I don't feel like there were any changes to my appetite. Um, I definitely feel like I was getting nauseous, but not super frequently. Um, just like twinges here and there of being nauseous, which honestly was a big problem for me on birth control as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or want to talk about anything, comment down below and I will respond to you. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really give you all the answers. I can tell you my personal story. I can also tell you that I think that you should talk to your doctor first. It's just a matter of them being on the same page as you because then they might be able to help you if you're not feeling right or you can call and say, hey, this is a symptom that I'm having and they might be able to give you more information. Oh, well, you're two months into being off of birth control, this is normal or this isn't normal or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so I cannot stress that enough. Please talk to your doctor. Um, but yeah, I hope you loved this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not, and comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.